Hello everybody, welcome back to Divinity, Original Sin, the Enhanced Edition. We've just entered the Phantom Forest, uh, last episode we finished the Immaculate Temple, and so we're now making our way to uh, it's Hunter's Edge, I do believe. Uh, we've just entered the Phantom Forest, so it looks like Medora's got something to say to us, so I thought I would need to record this. As we're coming to Hunter's Edge, this is where she was originally based as a source hunter, so let's see what she has to say. By the looks of things, it seems we're heading towards Hunter's Edge, the town where I was stationed before I met you lot. Before we get there, you should know the whole yarn. What I saw there, why I fled. Yes, comrade, I fled a coward bearing the insignia of a sauce hunter. Okay, you mentioned that the orcs had invaded your village. You ready to continue your your tale? I think so, comrade. Even though you might never look at me the same way, I hope I won't lose you as compatriots. Tell me your tale. We, the villagers and myself, were corralled in the town square. The orcish queen sauntered into the middle, proud of the chaos she'd created. She screamed if we knew why they had come. Slowly, she approached me and leaned close, her hot, foul breath like fire on my face. With one hand, she clasped my throat. With the other, she reached into my pocket and pulled out the gem I'd taken from the orcs I'd killed earlier that day. I was a thief, she said. I'd taken something dear to her, and I had earned punishment. I thought she'd destroy me right then and there. But she did something worse. She was after the bloodstone then. That's right, comrade. And I was soon to find out why. She brought forth one of her soldiers. A larger orc I'd never seen, and he was covered in black gleam and armor. She placed the stone in his chest plate, and something happened. He transformed into something... something I'll never forget. She made me watch as she sent villager after villager. For the great transformed beast. He crushed them all, one by one, each more gruesomely than the last. He seemed to revel in the work. I could do nothing, comrade. I couldn't save them. I couldn't help them. I could only watch. Uh, but you escaped, you, didn't you? You went to find reinforcements, us. And we've come to take back the village. Don't you see it's already over? Don't you see it's too late? These orcs weren't out for riches or land. They only came for blood. No. All that's left in Hunter's Edge is a debt to be paid, comrade. And I intend to collect it. So there we have the story of what really happened at Hunter's Edge. Right, so we will mosey our way over there, I think. I'll probably do that off camera. I don't really think you need to see any of the little fights that they have on the way. I'm not sure you even want to see those. Uh, if I come against anything interesting or what I think will be interesting, then I will start the recording again. Alright, so I'll be back soon. Hello and welcome back. little titles don't mean a thing to the king. Be prepared or find another route, chicken bones. Oh, that's it. I'll not lose twice the gold for the fact that you've only half a brain. Only going to say it once more. Troll toll. Four thousand gold. Can't you count, you bloody walrus? Three guards and three head of slaves. You make cows pay toll too. You fancy little titles? Don't mean a thing to the king. Be prepared or find another route, chicken bones. You know as well as I, there's no other route. I'm offering fair coin for our passage here. You must see reason. Four thousand gold, chicken bones. Fine. Fine. Here's three thousand, and that's a bloody theft. You fancy little titles? Don't mean a thing to the king. Be prepared or find another route, chicken bones. Well, as you can see, we've reached a bit of an impasse between the uh, rumble 
um, the slave master. <laughs> he keeps asking for 4,000, he keeps offering 3,000, so we're not going to get anywhere, so I think it's time we killed them all. See what he says. Hold on now, one whelp at a time. You'll pay you a toll soon as I'm through knocking this loudmouth back in line. Oh, there's nothing to buy. The fool thinks he can slick six warm bodies past rumble for the price of one, he does. Lousy bomb, me as well, thief from King Gungir's very coffers. If I've said it once, I've said it more times than a troll can count. Warm bodies do not people make. We are free immaculates and free slaves, and I won't empty my pocket over chattel. Hmm, there we go. So we can either pay the toll, or we can leave them to resolve it on their own terms. We'll try that. No need to insert ourselves. We're Enough. I'll not let this idiot troll or his idiot king hinder the goddess's affairs a moment longer. In her name, I bid thee fight. Here we go. If I've not got any gold in my pouch, you'll not get any head on your shoulders. Rules are rules, chicken bones. If no one pays, everyone dies. And there we go. And the slaves run off. <laughs> Oh, and he's looking like he's going to go for us. No, he's not. Yes, he is. No. Right, this calls for a uh, little blockage on the bridge there, I think. Stop me getting to my casters. Need to get you into range, because you can do some mighty damage with this rain of arrows. Can we get them all? Just miss out on that one at the back. All right, that'll we'll have to do then. All right, it's uh, you get the skilly up there. Return to battle, forgotten knight. And retreat a fraction. And um, let's see if we can get a knockdown on most of these, shall we? Oh, nearly. There, 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 there. And we'll put a shackle on him. Because he's bound to attack me. Some of this, then. My turn through the gauntlet with pleasure. Let's try the foot grenade. Diseased. That's a bonus. Right. Where can we get that? Can't get it anywhere, so we'll leave that off for a moment. Uh, we're all in good health. What else can we do? Can give my door a fortification. Um, try and freeze rumble. There we go. Bit of crowd control. Always nice. Ooh, nice damage there. But it healed him, whatever it was. How dare you dodge. Hmm. I wonder. 
No, I've got him shackled. I don't want to do that. Increase Dora's damage. See if we can curse him. Cursed and weak. Ooh, 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 nice. Right, Medora, do your stuff. We'll win. That sounds good. One down. Two down. Come on. Make your mind up. There we go. Trickery, shall we? Lightning flash. Stun failed. Okay, I did nice damage. Come on. Hmm. Silenced. Stops him using any of his fortifying spells. Uh, not in range with that. So let's try again. Stop him healing. You will remember this touch forever. Right, Medora. Can't flurry from there. <laughs> nice. No grave contains me. That heals him. Okay, right, okay. No, we're not doing that anymore then. Come on now, Skelly, do your job. I think we'll have to get Medora on the job there, I think. Um, increase the chance to hit. Damaging yourself there, Rumble. Um, do I want to do that? Shall I take care of the archer? How many turns has the skelly got left? One turn. Right, let's... It's not you down then. Crippled. God, you're not even in a bad way there, mate. What do you think, Source Hunter? Alright, you can wait. Move you forward a little bit. Next turn, maybe you can teleport that.
Not a great deal of damage there, but not to worry. Hmm. Get Spidey out. <laughs> she absolutely loves it, Medora. Alright, Spidey. Nice. Let's try weakening. Yes. That's better. I'll defend you till my death rattle. So get you there. Bye bye, Rumble. Oh no, not quite. Very nice. Right. Another enlightened amulet, which he's just picked up, which I didn't want to happen. Arch healing. And nothing very exciting. A boss sign. The hen who shares her feed receives a greater second helping. Offering scale. We'll have, hmm. I don't mean I can put something in there. Offers its feet, we'll give it some food then. There we go. Oops. Okay, it doesn't appear that's made any difference whatsoever. No idea what's going on with that, so we'll check these. Check all the nooks and crannies just in case there's a, a dig point. Stashed in here, Mrs. Cottondale. Right, well, it looks like we're heading into uh, Hunter's Edge then. I don't think I'll be able to do all of Hunter's Edge in one episode because there is a lot to do. In the town. Oh, improved metal armor. Very nice. Nah, I don't want that. What a deluge! Oh, if we go over here then. Forlorn tunnel. Oh, I know what this is. Oh, that's, oh, that's a good thing to clear out early on. Right, okay. Clear all this away. Let's 
Let's get that on before we get spotted. And get that down. Trigger the fight. Um, I think the fire elemental might be a good idea, this one. I think they're poison based, aren't they? Yes. So it should cause some explosions. Right, before a little bit. skeleton summon out. Alright, let's put that on. And we'll save your points for next turn, I think. Right. Clear that one up. Oh, here we go. Good thing that my summon is immune to poison, eh? Right, so let's get you into the middle of this. Then. Um, yes. Didn't do what I wanted it to do. Right, we'll attack over here then. Miss, very well. Explore the skeleton. Let's get you there. And we can explode. Yes. I feel better already. Right, not in rage really to use that, so move forward. That's with that one. Seem to heal it. Oh, so close. Got three to spare. Let's move up a little bit. How can we do it? Yes, that's more like it. I'll do some nice damage. Right. Uh, so we can finish this one off. Damn it. That is not a lot of damage. Eleven to use. Two, four, six, eight, ten, eleven. All right, let's see what effect this has. Get four, I'll do. Very nice. Right, Midora, move forward to there. Nail bomb, firestorm grenade.
try that again. Alright, that's healing. Why is fire healing them? Right, let's put this fire out. What are we using at the moment? Let me have a quick look. Earth damage. Let's just give it a go. That worked. <laughs> so did that. Into the fray once more. Frozen, that's good. Yes, I know you're going to get a bit burnt there, but what the hell, eh? No point wasting one of those. You can throw a heal on Medora. Go on. One more. There we go. Uh, ah. Ah. Let's try and clear off where that cloud. can loot to our heart's content of absolutely nothing by the look of it. Why are you walking? 211 or 210. Alright, we need to get rid of some of this. I have to go and sell, I think, at the end of this episode. Must be something I could transfer to Medora. Alright, they weigh quite a bit. Wait quite a bit. Right, there we go. We can move again. Good, not encumbered. Right, just clear the way down here. I do know where it leads. It leads to a dead end. At I'm the growing moment. too accustomed to the sight of corpses. If we do our job, these will be among the last we find. Very true. All right, there's the exit to uh, secret room in the dungeon that we need to find and we will find that next episode folks I will head back to somewhere to sell, I'm not sure where I'll go yet but I'll go back and sell some of these uh, items I have on our characters get some money check on the skills 
and then we'll head into Hunter's Edge and I will continue recording from there. So thanks very much for watching folks, don't forget if you like the videos please leave a like and subscribe. This is All Grey, signing off.